my dear friend, you are on the YouTube channel of IT Genia Computer School, my name is Nikita and today we will continue doing the maze game in Scratch. As you remember, last time we stopped on this version of our project, so we have a mouse, we have a cat, the cat is moving, the mouse can touch walls, and we need to reach our cheesy puffs. Okay, everything works. Today we will make first level a bit harder and we will also create a second level. I think right now our level is too easy, so we will make a door here and a key. So until we will touch our keys the door will be closed and we will not be able to reach our cheesy puffs. First of all we will start with a key. So let's go to a library and type key here. Ok, this one is good. And we will place this key right here. I will also make it a bit smaller and I'll go to events when green flag is clicked and go to coordinates so all the time it will be here then I'll use forever and I'll use my if cycle again so if go to sense and touch in our mouse then we will broadcast Samsung for example, we'll broadcast new message, door opens. OK. Then we'll just need to create a door. We'll go to choose a sprite and we'll click on paint. So basically you just need to choose a line tool and paint a door. And then we'll just need to place this door right here. I'll increase outline a bit. Okay. Then I'll place it here. Wonderful. And the same, I'll go to events when green flag is clicked and go to coordinates. After this, we'll need to create a cycle that will hide our door when we will touch our key. That's why we'll go to events again and we'll go to when I receive door opens. As you remember, we are broadcasting door opens only when our mouse is touching our key. So when door opens, we'll go to looks and we'll hide. That's why we need to use show after our green flag is clicked, because after we'll hide our door one time, the next time we'll click on the green flag, it will be still hidden. And I think we'll do the same with key, so if touching mouse, we will hide. And then we'll show in the beginning. Ok, let's check how it works. So currently as you see our door is closed. We can't reach our cheesy puffs. That's why we need to touch our key. It hides and our door opens. Ok, wonderful. And we can go here. Ok, our first level is ready. So let's move for the second. We'll go to our mouse script and as you see right now, if touching cheesy puffs, we're stopping everything. Now we need to delete this and we'll just broadcast new message second level. OK. And now we just need to draw a new backdrop for our second level. So let's go straight to stage, click on backdrops and create a new one. You just need to click on this, choose backdrop and paint. Wonderful. So I think first of all I'll make this circle somewhere here. And then I will draw my maze. Let it be something like this. So you can make the same or you can draw something yours. OK. So currently we are on the second level and I think we need to go to our cheesy puffs. And we'll go to events. So we'll get back to our first level right now. And we'll use go to coordinates. And then we'll also use when I receive second level. We'll go to second level and place them somewhere here. 
and we'll use go to new coordinates like this. So when we'll receive second level our cheese boss will go right here. Okay but we also need to do the same with mouse and our cat. I think we'll start with the mouse. So when we're touching cheesy boss we'll broadcast second level and also we need to change our backdrop. That's why we'll go to looks and we'll find switch backdrop 2. We'll place it after broadcasting second level and we'll choose next backdrop. Currently we have only two backdrop, so it's backdrop 1 and backdrop 2. So if you want to you can even use backdrop 2. And in the beginning we should use switch backdrop to backdrop 1. Okay. And I think then I'll place my mouse right here. And then I can just take go to coordinates right here. And I also need it to point right, so I'll point in direction 90. Okay, that's great. So I think now we're ready with our mouse and our cheesy puffs. Let's check it. Okay. Okay, that works. But our cat is still in the same spot. So let's move to our cat. Currently, if we'll use when I receive second level and go to somewhere, our cat will still do the same script because you can see forever cycle in here. That's why the first thing we'll create right now is stop other scripts in this sprite. That's why when we will receive second level, this script will stop working. Okay, then we'll just need to place our cat here. I think we'll take forever cycle again and we'll create the same cycle as this one. Then I'll go to motion and take glide one second. Then I'll move my cut up to the second position and I'll take glide again. Okay. I'll change it for two seconds and two seconds. I'll take point in direction. Here it should look up. And here it should look down. Okay, let's check how it works. As you may notice, right now our cat transferred right here, so I think we should also take go to x coordinates right here. That's why he'll always spawn here. Okay, it works. So let's check. Okay, we're taking our cheesy puffs. So you may see that the same stuff happens here. So we'll just take go to coordinates and copy the second glide coordinates like this. One, three, two. So the same should be here. Like this. Okay, let's check again. So you see everything's working. Okay, and here everything's also working. So let's try to reach our cheesy puffs. Okay, great. After it, nothing happens, and we're still going on the second level, so I think we should also draw a third backdrop. It will look something like this. You can simply type here. Oh, I'll choose right color. We will type win, extend it, like this. Okay, after we are done with our backdrop, we can check how it works. You can simply drag your mouse up to your cheesy puffs, here and here. Okay, so nothing is happening. Let's go to cheesy puffs and make a final script. We'll also use forever cycle, so we'll need to check. If we'll touch our mouse after we already received second level like this we will broadcast win we will also change backdrop to backdrop number three and we will stop all like this okay that's why we should also hide our cat mouse and cheesy puffs after we'll broadcast win that's why we'll just use when I receive 
win, we need to hide. I'll also use show right here. Then you can just duplicate this script and drag it into your sprites here. I will also use show in the beginning. Then to our cat. Okay, we'll also use show in the beginning. You don't need to drag the script into key and door sprites because they both will be already hidden when you'll reach the second level. And let's check how it works. So I think now we have final version. Okay, the first level is perfect. Let's go straight to the second one. And as you see, everything's working. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Nikita. This was ITG New Computer School. Bye bye.